That's right, Disneyland has announced AP Magic, a new rewards and perks program for annual pass holders. What do you say we dive in and explore the benefits of Disney's new AP Magic? You're guaranteed three things in this world. Death, taxes, and an annual increase on your Disneyland annual pass. But luckily for all of us this year, Disneyland went a little light on their annual price increase. And while they were in the spirit of feeling generous, they decided to add a couple of benefits this year for Disneyland annual pass holders. And is offering some exclusive new experiences and benefits, such as free swag, AP only events, and the ability to buy exclusive Disneyland merchandise for annual pass holders only. The new AP program kicked off Monday, March 2nd, providing new benefits for Disneyland's most hardcore supporters, us, the annual pass holders. The new exclusive member benefits not only reward our loyalty, but our annual price increases. What do you say, friends? We dive in and explore the benefits of Disneyland's new AP Magic. Benefit number one, after hour ride times. Recently, there were two nights to celebrate Indiana Jones 25th anniversary. There's an upcoming three nights to enjoy the epic return of Soren over California, brought back for a limited time during the 2020 DCA Food and Wine Festival. AP only events, AP after hours events are so great to be able to hang out with fellow annual pass holders and just get a little more time in the park with less people there. After all, we go on the rainy days, the cold days, the hot day, the crowded days. Don't we deserve a little bit of quiet days? One of my best memories of Disneyland was when I first moved out here, they did an AP only Christmas night in the park. It was my first time ever getting to see the holiday parade. My wife and I sat on the curb. It wasn't crowded. It wasn't swamped. It was a magical night. And we left the park that night knowing exactly why we bought our annual passes for Disneyland. Benefit number two, movie sneak peeks. Calm down, this one is a little confusing. How this typically works, annual pass holders are allowed to go into one of the park's mini screening rooms. You get to see an extended trailer for the film and normally a short scene added on to it. So you're not going to get to see a full feature film before the gin pop. I remember doing this for Guardians of the Galaxy and oh, I was sold on it after seeing this preview in Tomorrowland. But I also remember seeing the preview for Tomorrowland in Tomorrowland, and I was completely confused and stayed that way watching the entire movie until I saw the best part of Tomorrowland, the movie, the end credits. Those are some of the best end credits I've ever seen. Whoever did the end credits, great job. Brad Bird, I'm really hoping this fall we'll get to see an extended trailer for Mandalorian Season 2, creating an epic synergy between Disneyland and Disney Plus that I'm currently paying for and watching nothing on it. Bring back Imagineering Season 2, bring back Mandalorian Season 2, and give me some Obi-Wan Kenobi and fast. Benefit number three, character meet and greets. A fun and easy, low-cost way to reward those of us that constantly reward the park with more cash flow. The way this typically works, they have a character that many of us would like to meet and greet over in a designated area. You show your pass, you gain access. There's always this ticking time bomb when you're meeting one of the characters. You're like, oh, everybody else in line needs to talk to them too. When the line's not so long, you can have a little bit more time to get that perfect photo in, to get that opportunity, to have a real memorable moment with one of your favorite characters, one of your favorite fellow citizens of Disneyland. And yeah, like I roll my eyes at this, like I'm too cool for character meet and greets. And I don't go out of my way to do them, but every time I get sucked into a character meet and greet, I always leave with the magic in my heart. And like my friend Justin Scar says, a sick pick. Like I said, doesn't cost Disneyland much to put one of these together, but it does mean a lot to annual pass holders. This is one of those things after being a Disney AP holder for seven years, I understand way more than I would have eight years ago. Number four, exclusive merchandise. This one is a no brainer. They know we're gonna come to the park. They know we have expendable income. They know we like to shop. They give us something we want, merchandise that has a little bit of bragging rights attached to it, and they get what they want. More cash flow from annual pass holders. This one is a win-win. Everyone gets exactly what they want. More cash flow or more Disneyland. 
Benefit number five, advanced ticket pre-sales for annual pass holders. This is a great way to support the customers that continue to support Disneyland. It says, hey, you citizens of Disneyland, you pay us monthly and annual fees, you come out to the park, you buy merch, eats and treats. So we're gonna give you a shot at a little preferential treatment. We're gonna give you an early shot to get tickets that might sell out, like the Star Wars After Dark Night. Got my ticket and I got it early because I was able to log in a day before everyone else. It also could help you get tickets to events that don't sell out. Pixar night, I'm talking to you, kid. It's just good customer service to give a little to those that give you a lot. Benefit number six, the AP Corner. It offers free collectible magnets, stickers, buttons, and sometimes activities for kids. None of this merchandise is crucial. It's not gonna make or break your Disney experience, but it is fun to get something that feels free. And these can also make for great social media moments. Just a fun little perk, a nice little souvenir to bring home. I have a box full of them. And finally, benefit number seven, an exciting new level of AP membership. The part that I'm most excited about with AP Magic, making being an annual pass holder feel more like being an exclusive club is the recent addition of the Alfresco Tasting Terrace, located in Disney's California Adventure. Back in January, the Alfresco Tasting Terrace became available only to AP members and their guests. This members-only patio is located on the second floor above the Golden Vine Winery. You know, that building where they show blue sky imagineering things to come and it's been the same thing previewing Pixar Pier. Time to get on that one. I don't know if you've ever been on this patio, but it offers amazing views right down Route 66 in Cars Land. And soon it will be an epic view of the amazing Spider-Man flipping and flying through the sky when Marvel's Avenger Campus opens later this summer. Alfresco Tasting Terrace is one for the history books. Not only is this the first ever AP members only lounge at the Disneyland Resort, but Walt Disney World in Florida, all four of its parks or any of its two dozen plus hotels don't have a spot like this. Making Alfresco Tasting Terrace the first ever annual pass club at any Disney park in the US. But as adult Yoda would say, always two there are, no more, no less. And a second AP members lounge is popping up soon at the Disneyland Resort. Now I thought about where would they put this? And my guess would be one in DCA, one in Disneyland. I thought about Disneyland, where's a space that they've been trying hard to get multi-use out of? And I thought, the Sky Lounge, the balcony above the ever so popular Star Wars Launch Bay. The balcony above Star Wars Launch Bay is something that Disney has struggled to make good use of. For a while, they tried selling a premium ticketed experience where you could watch the fireworks from the balcony as well as have snacks and treats. Currently, to the best of my knowledge, it's being used for meet and greets for Disneyland private tours. I know this because I went on one, but I could see this area with a small cocktail or refreshment bar and some snacks, activities for kids, to be a good way for select AP members to go up the stairs, to get away from the hustle and bustle of the main thoroughfares of Disneyland and have a nice quiet view of Tomorrowland with their friends, family, and their guests. Because you only need one annual pass holder to gain access to these private spots. Making it a poor man's Club 33. So Club 16 and a half or Club 66 or Club 55 if we're gonna go with important Disneyland numbers or Club 13. There's so many good Disneyland numbers. I should play the Disneyland Lotto. When Disney was asked about scaling and growing AP Magic, they said, this is just for starters. We're constantly coming up with unique ways to create even more AP magic because quite frankly, celebrating our annual pass holders is what it's all about. Well, we'll see, won't we? I'm excited to see what they offer. I'm excited most about gaining extra access to the park. The Disneyland AP only nights were so special to me. When they started charging for these after hour events, I thought we would never see these again. But fingers crossed, they'll realize the most Disneyland loyal deserve a quality loyalty program. When this new location becomes available or more Disney magic news breaks, I'll be covering it here on the channel. So make sure you subscribe, ring that bell button to get notifications about all Disneyland breaking news. All right, fellow annual pass holders, are you excited about AP magic? 
Is this enough to help justify your growing annual Disney expense? Or is it too little, too late for too much money? I personally have the Disneyland Pass that grants me access to the park every single day of the year. Because I just, for whatever reason, can't imagine not being allowed to walk through those gates. My annual pass is my key to Disneyland. It's the treat that I give myself that I never, ever feel guilty about. A gift that keeps on giving to me. My Disneyland annual pass is my keys to the kingdom. Where I hope I'll be soon. Where I hope I'll see you again soon. Until the next time we hang out, live the magic every single day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.